a fort which is situated on the top of hill it is hill fort then fort a deep forest fort which is situated in water so here when we are talking about wasota you will find that wasota belong to all this category it is on top of hill yes it is in the dense forest answer is yes and lastly we require water journey for this fort answer from one side if you are going you require water journey and so it's fantastic fort obviously to visit this fort uh, we have to take permission from forest department because it is in the uh, tiger project uh, we have to get permission from uh, forest department now uh, what are the risk factors for this fort obvious answer uh, presence of tiger leopards bison bear variety of snakes scorpion and leeches so all this wild animal we are able to observe here at this place that is wasota it is on bank of koina backwater as well as it is exactly situated on the main uh, range of sahyadri mountain western ghat towards one side we are observing deep valleys of 1000 meter whereas on the other side at 400 meter but very sharp and deep valleys towards that side koina backwater and everywhere we observe only dense forest now what we have to do how to go there the nearest city here that is satara which is a distinct place we can travel to satara by train by road uh, state transport bus service is there so you have to reach till satara from satara you have to travel to a small town or other village that is bamroli very very beautiful place on the bank of koina backwater where office of forest department is there we have to take permission from that office and then we have to start journey you have to manage in such a way that by 8 o'clock morning you should be there at Bamroli and then you can start your journey from Bamroli around say 9 o'clock one and a half hour pleasant journey is there through the water that is Koina backwater you will enjoy real, real time and then we are reaching to the base part of Vasoka where another check post of forest department is there they say that you should not carry out any weapon or even a matchbox, cigarette lighter, something like that they are checking out your baggage and then we are going to the fort nearly 400 meter we have to climb actually altitude of this Masota fort from sea level is 100 and, uh, sorry, 1000 and 100 meters but actual climbing when we are starting we are starting from plateau region and that's why we have to climb nearly 400 meters so we can climb on the fort very nice road not a tar road but uh, in dense forest we travel in very nice fort uh, so a nice way is available the thing is that forest is very very dense you can't observe much of the thing even at afternoon if you are carrying out photography it looks like you are carrying out photography in night and ultimately after certain height when you are climbing through this forest you will get all of sudden exposed land now forest is not there everything is uh, exposed that is we are in the range of port we have to climb through a simple road no rock climbing or something like that but we have to climb and then we are having entry on the fort the fort is uh, now in the ruined form when British company on behalf of them General Prother conquered this fort 
they destroyed each and everything on the fort except one temple is there other than that only we can observe say here there was a palace here there was a building something like that we can able to observe whereas water tanks are available on the fort fantastic water tanks are there at top of this fort two temples are available lord hanuman temple and lord shiva temple out of that lord hanuman temple is not having roof now whereas lord shiva temple it is having roof also and then we are going to a plateau just beside this temple there is a small plateau it's very nice to observe this plateau this is called as place of kalkai a goddess that place is there it's exactly on the edge of mountain where if you are looking towards left side you will see valley is nearly 1000 meters deep towards right side you will see the valleys of 400 meter deep and this way we are there on the edge of sayadri mountain range and now uh, at other end of this one sort of fort that is southern end we are able to observe another high hill higher than vasota that is called as old vasota this old vasota is having a deep sharp edge towards western side that is called as babu kada or babu khar this is fantastic deep straight way fall down so at some level it may be overhang also and very nice place to visit from place of kalkai if you are observing towards other side you can observe certain pinnacles two pinnacles you can observe prominently out of that the second pinnacle is having a place that is called as nageshwar a cave temple of lord shiva very nice place at uh, mahashivratri that is lord shiva festival people are gathering over there over the night also and uh, there is place just beside that pinnacle there is a place where we can obtain water fresh water is available there itself on the idol of lord shiva we can observe that shiva ling we can observe water is dripping out throughout the year that water is dripping out it's very nice place to observe that is nageshwar for that purpose you have to travel through a place uh, in the ratnagiri district that is called as place chorawadi from that you have to climb nearly 1000 meter to reach to nageshwar side so uh, this area is very very nice now the most important thing that uh, why to visit such fort it's thrill because you can observe all these animals may be possible and not always but if you are lucky and they are lucky they can observe you because they are lucky and you can observe them because you are lucky then you can observe but why to visit it is a thrilling place very nice place to observe from here we can observe certain forts like jandi jaigar makran gar mahi mandal gar like that forts are observable koina back water is always there with you you can observe variety of trees some fruit bearing trees like jackfruit etc they are observed but apart from that variety of trees plants bushes whatever you are able to observe and then what is the historical importance of this fort it's very uh, much a remote place to visit is situated in the deep forest and therefore it serves two ways number one pirates from sea they were taken here for prison and number two that uh treasure of the empire was stored over there go there find out if any single coin is remaining there and that is waiting for you 
anyway, but very nice sport to see. So I recommend you to visit this sport on the main Sahyatri Street.